I'm Emmy. Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week vlog. I've done a couple of these in the past few years, but they were all different. At first, I was still working a full-time office job, living with my parents then, and then I moved out. So I thought I'll film an updated version and all this yummy, healthy food. They're all cooked by my amazing helper, Yaya. I'm so lucky and so grateful to have her in my life. Even though I like healthy home-cooked food, I rarely eat salad, maybe like once a month. And because I grew up in Hong Kong, a lot of my food is also with Asian influence. But there's also Western food, if that's what you're more into. And I hope this video can give you a bit more ideas that you can eat healthy but still enjoy really delicious food. And I don't count calories, that's just not the way I want to live my life. But whatever works for you, I think the most important is to find something you enjoy and that you can do it over a really long period of time. Enough talking, let the week begin. Morning guys! Apart from what I eat in a week, I also want to show you guys my routine and also the new habits that I'm trying to implement in my life and I'm trying to be less attached to my phone. I don't want to look at social media to be like the first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning. So for the past few weeks, I tried to do a guided meditation in the morning and then I would write three affirmations for the day on my journal before I start looking at like messages and social media and building a habit takes time I'm not perfect so so far I think the success rate is like 60% I am learning progress over perfection Morning Yaya <laughs> I made this banana bread over the weekend for Bobo's birthday. It's one of our favorite recipes. Banana walnut bread with strawberries and blueberries. Mm. Very nice day, but curtain down for the UV. Every day I write my to-do list on my notebook and I love that when I get a task done I can just like cross it out it's almost like one of my motivation to get things done sit go yummy yummy for lunch I'm having lettuce wrap with minced pork sweet potato bell pepper bell pepper mint a little onion Refreshing. Mm. I'm gonna show you guys realistically how much I eat and I did finish the whole plate. And tomorrow we have a shoot and these are some of the clothes that we borrow from brands. I'm gonna try on the outfits now according to the way my manager styled them and see how they fit. For me, this is just a much more environmental friendly and sustainable way instead of like buying clothes every single time because we don't want to repeat them in the photos. So funny, it's padded. I cannot pull up the pants, it's too tight. Cannot, 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 cannot. Because the silver pants don't work, and now we're trying these ones. It also can twirl. Quinoa pasta with avocado sauce. It's like creamy but vegan and dairy free. And the celery soup is also vegan. Mmm. Oh my god, so good. The celery soup, I know the color has not looked that great, but it's like my favorite, favorite soup. Even better than like green pea soup, broccoli soup. Mmm. Today's breakfast is one of my favorite, 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 favorite is sweet potato toast, mashed avocado with pepper and salt and lime and also pojik. I 
also want to show you guys the morning supplements that I take. I also take supplements at night, but different ones. Lion's Mane for memory and nerve support. It also helps with your mood, relieves mild anxiety and depression. And Cordyceps for immune system, endurance, metabolism. Last but not least, NMN for anti-aging. You will see that yesterday I just drank like a water in the morning. And that's actually all I drink every single morning lunch, dinner, throughout the whole day. I drink a lot of water. My other tip is don't buy anything that you don't really want yourself to be eating or drinking. For example, whenever my friends are here, they always complain I don't have cold sweet drinks because all I have at home is water. And snack-wise, I also don't have a lot. I do have some like healthy crackers, nuts, cranberries, raspberry, cashew mix. But I really think it's a good method. If at night I can't find any snacks that I want to eat, then I just go to sleep and feel better in the morning. And I also want to tell you guys about the things that I listen to because I think what you listen to and what you watch, like the content that you consume is so important to help you set the right mindset to achieve any goals that you want. So first is Jay Shetty. I love his podcast, especially the guests that invite to his podcast. They're so successful all in their own way. There's always something to learn for people who get to that point in their life. I love listening to this YouTuber called The Wizard Liz. I especially like the one video that she talked about if you don't like yourself, what are the changes that you can make? And there's also one video that I just listened this morning about manifesting your dream life. And also Louise Hay, just search her on YouTube. One is called The Power Within You. Today we're filming. What do you think about the avocado pasta? It's so good. It tastes like, it doesn't taste like avocado at all. Every time Samantha is here, she's complaining that my place does not have uh, cold drinks. Observing and accessory. Today for lunch, I'm just eating the celery soup from last night. We're super behind schedule, so I still haven't filmed my workout video. We're still shooting. Right now it's what time? Like 5? 5.30. 5.30. I'm finally eating the rest of my lunch. <laughs> we're just finishing up our pool shoot, but we're not done for the day because we still have a night shoot. So now we're heading back. I need to shower, change, and then we're heading out for a night shoot. We're doing a team dinner. Yeah. And we're going Chinese. This is pan fried tofu, hong xiu daofu, lian bun daopei. This uh, zucchini fritters is actually a western dish but it goes really well with this Chinese sauce that I like and steamed fish! I think with steamed fish, a rice is must. Okay, which one do you want, Zenya? Well, you're not having it, Emmy. I cannot, I'm lactose intolerant. Oh. I'll eat a bit of my vegan durian ice cream. Oh my god. Mm. Right now it's midnight and we're still doing the shoot. My hair is so crazy. So it's 1 a.m. now. We just finished today's 12 hour shoot. Super tired but very, very productive. I left all my clothes in the car that I haven't had the energy to pack them up. I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning. Just gonna go home and rest now. Good night. This morning, I am having pumpkin pancakes. It's gluten-free. Mm. So today I'll be out for a long time and it's nice to have a filling breakfast in the morning. Normally when I'm out the whole day, I would pack my lunch box, same as what I eat at home. Most of my lunches are left over from dinners the night before. This is, what is this? Atto binjo is avocado pasta, um, zucchini fritters, and the uh, cold dish tofu skin from last night. Around this lunchtime, I already know like for sure I'll have to wait at the car park, so it's the perfect time to eat my lunch. Tonight we are having chicken kebab with a homemade tomato salsa and homemade hummus and okra. Ooh, chicken kebab. 
I want to add tomato salsa to it and add some pumas. Mm. Mm -mm. So good for summer. It's super hot in Hong Kong right now. Even hotter than when I went to Thailand last week. Yeah, yeah, I made. Black sesame dessert is a Chinese dessert, one of my favorite, and it's very good for hair. And it's quite healthy because we don't add a lot of just sesame. sugar. Sesame. Yeah. Sesame. It's just mainly sesame, right? Yeah. Mmm. This morning's breakfast, I'm having oatmeal with kiwi and orange. It's a strange color because I'm using this black rice milk to make the oat milk and it's vegan, plant-based, no sugar added. This morning, I have a call in one minute, so I'll just be eating my breakfast. Lunch, just something simple. Some hummus. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Workout done! Super sweaty. I feel bad. We just cleaned the car today and now the whole seat is like soaked in sweat but good workout. Tonight we are having my favorite favorite dumplings. All the food that I'm showing you guys this week are my favorite dishes. That's why I say favorite every night. So these are all hand wrapped by Yaya. What's the filling? This is chicken. Mm. This is pork. And uh, mixed with vegetables, right? Yeah, with this uh, round cabbage and this uh, with uh, chives. chives. We're having papaya fish soup. There's also pork, peanuts. My problem with dumplings is that I really like to eat them and I end up eating way too many. There are 20 here, let's see how much I'll eat tonight. And just simple vegetables, the fish soup, and this awesome sauce that Yaya makes for the dumpling. I think it's soy sauce with garlic and sesame oil. Let me try the chicken. Don't forget to eat vegetables. I overestimated how many I could eat. There's still four left, so I ate 16. Tonight I'm having this honey lavender stress relief tea. It's caffeine free. Even though I don't usually drink tea a lot, but I didn't sleep very well last night. There's quite a lot of work these two weeks. I was so tired last night, but for some reason I woke up at like 3 a.m. and I couldn't fall asleep again. Hope I can get more sleep tonight. So this morning we are having shashuka, bell pepper, tomato, and I make my own sauce tomato. Ooh. And I put some uh, sweet potato in it. Yes, I love that. Wow. Are you too luffy duffy? Afternoon cuddling session. You guys could probably already predict that uh, my lunch, yeah, just the same thing as dinner the night before. I had 18. So I also want to tell you guys about this deep work that I'm currently trying to implement into the way I work. A lot of time these days when we work, we have our like messaging app open, emails, and we're constantly just so distracted when there's a message notification pop up. Before, I always feel like I work long hours, but actually I'm just always in this distracted state of going from one task and then, oh, there's a message. Like right now, like without focusing on finishing one task and then moving on to the next. So I set one hour for myself, for example, I would focus completely onto video editing. And I turn off my messaging app, put away my phone, I close my emails. I'm usually super, super distracted. Like literally every five minutes, I'll check my phone, check my WhatsApp, check my Instagram. And so for me to start one hour is a pretty good amount of time. Basically, it takes us up to 20 minutes to get into this state of just complete focus and you learn faster, better work quality, you feel better because you're in this flow state and you're more present as well. And it just helps me get more things done within a shorter amount of time. Eating out tonight. with cinnamon apple and banana with 
pistachio butter. I love, love, love this one. And almond butter. Adding some honey. Normally this is my go-to breakfast when I'm craving for something sweeter. Today's lunch, only four dumplings left. And the papaya fish soup. Need my lunch? Who is this? There's one more there. Yay, 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 yay. My parents are over for dinner and we're having Sesame chicken, Japanese egg roll. My mom has been requesting that for weeks, several weeks. And then sake clams, baby cabbage with gum and dan. But mm. nice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Since my parents are here, we're also making one of my mom's favorite dessert Almond with egg white They say it's good for skin A lot of girls in Hong Kong, like me and my friends, we all love this dessert mm. I want to show you guys my nighttime supplement And I actually only started taking them since COVID Because back then everyone's so scared And I thought, okay, I would start taking some vitamin C and then I look into supplements more and more before COVID I used to get sick all the time like maybe twice a month at least since COVID apart from getting COVID I almost just never got sick I just love my supplements I take vitamin C acne right now I have a huge acne here all these supplements I got them from iHerb I'll also include the discount code in the description box below I also take 5-HTP before I sleep it actually helps with relaxing and mood and serotonin production collagen for my skin lutein, lutein, I don't know how to pronounce it it's for eyes D3 and B complex like these I don't take every single day maybe only like 3 times a week magnesium glycinate especially helps with um, relaxation so I also take it before sleep and biotin for nails, hair and skin Sunday, so Yaya is on holiday and I'll be making my own breakfast. Something simple that does not involve cooking. I'm gonna do a lactose free yogurt. This is my breakfast. I'm gonna go eat this and do a workout right now. Leftovers from the nights before. Well, we'll listen to my podcast. It's Sunday night and I'm having dinner on my case. Cheers! Oh, how does it sound? I'm single soldier and I'm dying. Cheers! Cheers! Oh, I want to show you guys my night routine I now have the habit of writing on my journal I would write down three things that I'm grateful for And then I would listen to my meditation Sometimes I would do the ones for sleep Sometimes the ones that are for letting go of the day But I have to be honest, like most of the time at night I wouldn't say I'm actually meditating It's more like I just fall asleep to it And to me, the meditation just really helps me with my sleeping Oh, and I forgot I would do my eye cream every single night And then some lip balm Good night!